Hey guys! Welcome to today's video and this week I have something hopefully exciting. So I reached out to a Portuguese brand called Olmar, which is like stationery, art supplies, office stuff. I said, hey, do you want to do collabs? And they said, yes, we do. <laughs> we'll send you stuff. I have no idea what they sent me and today I got this box. This box is ginormous. Let me zoom you up. Okay, it's not as aesthetic this whole setup but this is the box that i just got i have my hand sanitizer here safe and stuff i have no idea what's in here so let's find out together please do excuse me while i also have record for instagram <laughs> do this my tiny tiny blade <laughs> let's see how this is i just dropped everything on that side i'm a terrible box opener thing okay i think we're in i think um help okay <laughs> wow i got a bunch of stuff so i really did not have no idea what's in here Okay, so let's start with this. I kind of had an idea they would send me this because it's their only like watercolor thing and I used to have this set. So it's the Cotman watercolor set. It's not bad, it's actually quite good for a beginner. Uh, I remember when I got it, I was super in love with it. This is actually a great set for any starting artist, so that's a good stuff. Uh, we have. Oh, ooh, we have a mechanical pencil. I like mechanical pencils. What are you? We, it's a Figo wrap pick click. Ooh, I like you. It's an interesting shape. It's a cool one. I, I, I'm, I'm digging it. This is really exciting. Oh, we have one of these. I used to really be obsessed with this stuff. This is like watercolor graphite. I used to use it in school. It was pretty interesting. So you basically water this and this is like graphite. I might actually play with this. I mean, I am going to try and play with this all. Uh, since, like I said, I really had no idea what was in here. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. If I'm just going to do an unboxing, I'm going to try and do like a video uh, of drop using all of this because it's quite a lot of stuff in here. Okay, we have one brush and I think all of these others were supposed to be in here. <laughs> they did let me know they were gonna send me brushes, which I really appreciate because I am a destroyer of brushes. I have no idea what's in... I imagine paper underneath this, but it's not letting me get to the brushes from here. Okay, cool. We have... Let me get this one out. Because I assumed they were all together and all of these just escaped. So we have the Van Gogh brand and there's a 2406, which is a pretty good selection, for me at least. I don't know if you can see all of this. So these are all watercolor brushes and these seem pretty cool. I'm always happy to get new brushes because I destroy all of mine. <laughs> then we have a Ecoline primary set. I used to have uh, I believe, I believe I had all of these. <laughs> I used to have these and I never had actually had the blender because I would just blend them with water. So the blending might be cool. Uh, but yeah, these are pretty nice. I just never really used them, but they're pretty fun as well. Then we have acrylics, which it's always fun, even though I suck at acrylics, but it's always fun. And I... Should I have an, a blue one? Because it's weird to not have a blue one. But we have primary yellow, primary magenta and zinc white, which actually a pretty cool color palette if I want to go all warm. And these are pretty hefty tube sizes, so that is awesome. Okay, what else do we have in here? Um, stay. What are you? Art graph. Oh, in blue? Portuguese Pencil Factory. Oh, this is cool. I never seen this. 
I've seen this one in stores, but I never really tried it. I think it's like the same as that one, like graphite thing, but blue. I think I have to check all of these because some of these I never really knew, and I was supposed to film all this. <laughs> what are you? S M L T. I have no idea what you are. What are you? Uh, what? What are you? Seems like paper. I'm gonna leave you to the end because I have no idea what you are. <laughs> What's this? Star pad watercolor. Ooh, watercolor paper. Oh my god, there's more stuff here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's been so long since I used one of these. It's a graphite stick. It's been so long since university, I think. Since I used these. These are pretty much like staple supplies that you use in art schools here in Portugal, so it's pretty interesting to be back to seeing these because I used to use these back at school. <laughs> it's pretty interesting to see this. Okay, so here we have a big ass pad. Oh, same brand from that envelope. Star Pod watercolor paper. Uh, 240 GSM. Cold press, acid free. The texture, let me show you. It's big paper. The texture is interesting, but it's thick. It's a thick boy. It's interesting texture. Can you even see that? Be interesting. It's a big pad, it's super big. <laughs> what are you? Okay, that's the end of it. Drawing pad. Drawing spiral pad, 160 GSM, fine paper, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, this is like the drawing pads that we used to get in school. <laughs> this is very reminiscent of school. <laughs> this is just giving me vibes of going back to school. <laughs> uh, either that being good or bad. This is it so far. Let me get the box out of the way. We're going to look at it more with proper eyes. I removed the box and I checked out what's in this parcel and it's more watercolor paper. Here we have some different types of paper from... So this is 200 GSM from the pad Gold. I never heard of this brand, SMLT Art. And then we have two sheets from this one, which is the Star 240. And then one from the Silver 160. So we have a variety of papers here as well. So we have a lot of paper. <laughs> to experiment. So I have a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Most of these I have used in my university time. This to me screams art school in Portugal, basically. These are all materials that our teachers had us using. Uh, unless, except these, I don't think, I only got to know these, I think after I left university. But the, the art graph, for example, oof, my teachers used to love these, but I did not use it in blue, which I'm pretty excited to try since it's like Portuguese pencil factory. This might actually be a pretty color. Amsterdam acrylic, it's pretty basic. It's a pretty cool and reliable brand. I used it in the paintings I did prior, but it's pretty cool and they're very hefty tubes. So that's pretty, pretty nice. This, I used to do so much studies with this. This is actually giving me flashbacks <laughs> for doing like the huge figure studies. It's just giving me flashbacks to university. I'm a bit overwhelmed right now, honestly. So I think I'm gonna give it a few days and see what I do with this. This is a lot, <laughs> but I'm excited. And let's see what I can come up with using these. Hey guys, so it's like one week after the clip you just saw of me unboxing the goodies from Omar and like I mentioned, I was pretty overwhelmed at the time with what did I want to do because I honestly had no idea because just doing a full piece with everything seemed like a lot and I wasn't sure I was able to just mix them in a good way so I'll do a video 
based on each of the supplies so the next video that will be up will be a review of this guy i already filmed it and i am using it again just trying to think of it as critically as i can even though i already know it and especially with the experience i have now with other brands and other types of watercolors i'm trying to just understand it more and see how i can just use it best and to give you my really honest and critical opinion so that's exciting uh, then i might do just a video with the acrylics then some of the graphite because it's something i never really quite explored in a creative way i used it to do figure studies so i think it would be interesting to just see how i can use it creatively and then acrylic because i suck at acrylic it's a well-known fact <laughs> if you have followed me for you probably just need to follow me for a few months and you will have heard me say that i suck at acrylic because it is a known fact i really am not great at it but it's definitely something i want to improve so i have a bunch of smaller tubes i have purchased for a video i did which was painting a backpack which i'll link it here if you want to see it so i have those colors plus these three colors that i got sent so i'll definitely try my best to just have a go better at acrylic i think it will be very fun that's kind of my plan i was just so overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that was in there and so different because i just had no idea what i'm gonna do i hope you enjoyed this little unboxing thing because i'm not super amazing at them i'm quite a frank thing and quite messy person i'm not great at those aesthetics unboxings that you see unfortunately it's not my forte maybe one day i'll grow an aesthetic bone on my body and i'll be better at it but right now that's not the case <laughs> don't forget to check all my links down below i have a patreon a skillshare i will also be doing classes on graphy soon a live course on gouache the date is a little bit on standby at the moment but hopefully in april i will be doing that so be on the lookout and you can always subscribe to my page there so you'll be informed when i do it i'm also hoping to be able to start streaming more on twitch so all of those links will be down below or if i don't have my twitch link will be on my instagram so you can always go there thank you so much for watching subscribe leave a like let me know down in the comments if you ever used any of the supplies since they are quite art schooly you probably know all of them so let me know if there's one that you don't know or that you used a lot in school if you did go to art school so thank you so much for watching and for being here and for making it this far you are the best and i'll see you in my next video bye